Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. And I'm Kristen Oaks-White. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. We're on board the steamboat Natchez. This boat is the ninth steamer to bear the name Natchez, but most people who walk through the French Quarter know the Natchez best for its 32-note calliope. Carl Wiggers will share much more about this storied steamboat later in the show. It really is an amazing vessel. But first, let me tell you why we're here in the Crescent City. The New Orleans Marriott played host to the 94th annual meeting of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation. More than 1,500 farmers, ranchers, and their families attended this year's convention. Convention is truly a family event with the Queens and Talent Contests, but the annual Farm Bureau Convention is also where farmers and ranchers learn about the challenges facing their industries and to set policy to guide the state's largest general farm organization into the future. The future of Louisiana's representation in Washington, D.C. could also be in the hands of the state's farmers and ranchers. It sure seemed that way with so many candidates for U.S. Senate and Congress coming here to New Orleans to speak to Louisiana Farm Bureau members. Public Service Commissioner Foster Campbell, a Democrat running for the U.S. Senate, spoke at the Friday general session. His Republican opponents in that race, Congressman Charles Bustani from Louisiana's 3rd District, Congressman John Fleming from the 4th District, and retired Air Force Colonel Rob Manis spoke before the Farm Bureau's voting delegates on Sunday morning. They're all running for the seat soon vacated by Louisiana's senior Senator and former gubernatorial candidate David Vitter. Congressman Ralph Abraham from Louisiana's 5th Congressional District also spoke before the delegates, though it's not likely Abraham will have any serious opposition in his race for re-election. These political visits came on the heels of an article published in the News Star out of Monroe titled, Politics on the Farm, Ag Wields Powerful Influence in Louisiana Elections. In the article, reporter Greg Hilburn points to last year's Farm Bureau Convention as the turning point in the gubernatorial campaign for now Governor John Bell Edwards, and that it was at this forum where Senator David Vitter showed he was a vulnerable candidate. Louisiana Farm Bureau President Ronnie Anderson says the reason is simple why Farm Bureau has such an influence on politics, farmers and ranchers get out to vote. You know, between now and the election, Farm Bureau uh, involvement in these campaigns is going to be even more important in the congressional races and in the Senate race. And I think we're, you're going to see more attention made to our boards, our parish presidents, uh, visits to our state board and other, other entities in Farm Bureau. And I think as we build toward the fall, uh, you're going to see more and more interest in, in Farm Bureau as, a, as an ally in these elections. Congressional candidate for Louisiana's 3rd District, Scott Angel also visited with farmers and ranchers. The Louisiana Farm Bureau Convention started the same day the second special session of the Louisiana Legislature came to a close. 